The way I access my SR700 copy roster remotely is first to make sure that you have Xming uh, server running. And then I have a PuTTY profile. Actually, it's this one. So you'll have need to know the IP address or a way to access the uh, compute stick or whatever it is you have on there. And then uh, in the SSH X11, you have to enable the X11 forwarding. Uh, so we can go back to this profile and open this. And then I can log in. And then I need to uh, change directory into where I have the application. And then I can uh, run the application. And I will need to do it as sudo um, because it needs to access the USB. So when I run that, I'll put in my uh, password. And there we go. I am now connected to my uh, copy roaster uh, remotely. And I can change the fan speed. Like so I can go up here and change the time. And I can uh, do uh, recipes, which will uh, be trying Dan's espresso here. Uh, let me get this set up, and uh, I'll show you how the coffee roaster is set up. Okay, so here's my fresh roast SR700 with the uh, Intel compute stick. It's controlling it. If you notice there's no screen hooked up to the HDMI. It has a one USB port. This is the USB port that I'm just connecting straight into the coffee, uh, the SR700. Um, so yeah, no keyboard. Uh, and then the Intel Compute Stick has Wi-Fi. So that's how I'm connecting through the Wi-Fi remotely to uh, control this coffee maker. And if you notice... We got two and a half minutes on there and in the settings at six just as I set it on there and the USB light is lit up on that so there we go